This rat's nest is my gaming rig. As you can see, I bring cables in from outside, out from inside the machine to hook in my recording hard drive. The same is true of my editing rig. This is not a good thing. Those kinds of cables are good for maybe, at most, 50 disconnects and reconnects. And what's worse is, and I can show you this on a DVD drive, the connection points are actually quite flimsy. They're little plastic lugs that stick out and they will break. It's happened already. And the problem is those lugs, they're on the hard drive side. So it's not a good, it's not a good place to be. It really isn't. So I decided I needed to fix this. How am I gonna fix it? Well, I'm glad you asked, because uh, I did warn you to look out for a techie video soon. So to start with, I have this which is a, it's basically it's a dashboard that goes into the three and a half inch floppy drive bay. So it literally goes in where your floppy drive would be and it has amongst other things, three USB 2 connections and an eSATA connection which stands for external SATA drive. And this is an eSATA cable <laughs> with an end that could be permanently attached to my recording drive. And of course then that just goes USB, eSATA, hard drive, and it connects at the back end with that, which of course is just a bog standard connector, it uses Molex power, and you know, it works. So I've got that, but that's only half of the equation because I also have my, my editing rig, and my editing rig is exactly the same. So for that, I got this and this is a little bit more um, it's a bit more com complete because my editing rig kind of gets a lot more in the way of um, I'm trying to think of the word it gets a lot more in the way of hard use so and it tends to be connected with a lot of random hard drives and things like that when I'm backing up data so Molex connector headphone connection because I'm having problems with my headphones, eSATA, USB 2, and then all the memory cards. Again, now, I've never used these before and I've never installed them before. And I'm not gonna be installing them today, but I will be installing them next week. By which I mean like Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday, as in tomorrow, the next day, or the next day. And uh, I will update people on, update you all on how they work because I actually think this could be, this could be the beginning of a very good thing. Uh, so yeah, this is what I got in the mail recently. And they were very cheap. Um, this and both dashboards all together was just under 30 euros. Seriously, for all that. I already have the hard drives, but the other side of it is I'm also gonna be upgrading and replacing a couple of my hard drives in the next while, like uh, my recording hard drives. One of them is perfectly fine, my one terabyte that I got from Kiwi, but the others are, no, they're not fine. They're dying on their feet. If they were a dog, you'd take them out behind the woodshed and whack them with a two by four. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, that's what's happening this week. And uh, I may actually do a video when I'm installing them, not necessarily of the installation, because really it's an installation. You connect the cables. It's not that hard. But I have been, I have promised people that I would give them a look at the innards of my gaming rig in particular. So yeah, we'll get around to that. Anyway, it's a Sunday. You all have dinner to eat. Well, if you haven't already ate, ate it, ate it? If you haven't already eaten it. And uh, have a great evening. I'll talk to you all again soon and bye for now.